every being every fiber of my being should vibrate that i belong to god and i long for god that's why god spoke through sakaria hello my dear joshua you may be a priest so what look at your right hand then he showed me joshua the high priest standing before the angel of the lord and the angel is talking to him and satan standing at the right hand to oppose the priest what is this whatever his prayer is supposed to be heard by the lord isn't it but the enemy is opposing there is a, a servant of god he used to say like this you know unnida satan in sarak irunda ave unne chutti chutti varva means that which satan longs is found in you satan will come around you when there is honey the flies will come around you so that which belong to satan is in you in the depth of your heart outside we are okay we do everything prayer everything but we don't see inside and then kartharukku kodukka vendi edam kaali arinchana satan and adatha pudichukrom if you don't keep the lord at your right side satan will capture that place that's what jesus said when your heart is cleaned but it is not filled and the evil spirit who went away from you will see still your heart is empty it is not filled with the presence of god so he will bring another seven hard spirits and enter and make your life miserable that's what he said in uh, why joshua's right side satan was standing the angel is crying the lord rebuke you satan the lord who has chosen jerusalem rebuke you is this not a brand of plucked from the fire means are you not a brand plucked from the hell fire you have come from hell you are supposed to be in hell why are you standing on the right side of my priest who is anointed for me god is crying shouting and then the lord immediately notices what is wrong how the satan who is supposed to be in hell fire has found a place and stands at the right hand what is the reason what is the cause and the lord found and told immediately chapter 3 verse 3 now joshua was found clothed with filthy garments he goes to the altar but his garments are filthy his life is in sin his life is with the wrong relationship or whatever may be or wrong habits drinks cigarettes or wrong talking about others ill love others or making stories or dividing in the caste line you belong to this caste there are various ways through which satan will come and make us filthy our mind filthy we are one they are different we have to be very very careful when god has called us to be as one family if any thought comes somebody is not mine that comes from the enemy immediately if you don't crush it see satan get out he will enter into he will deepen his works that's what we find in first thessalonian and that's what we find in the life of saint augustine that 
what he could not get it from ambrose or other intellectuals he got it through a woman who was kneeling and praying who brought the presence of god and it is this presence of god made this great saint augustine a sinner into a saint that's why he writes how late have i come to know you lord how late have i come to love you lord my heart is restless until it finds rest in you he was very fond of great novels great books and one of the books of modern time which everybody loves is the book of shakespeare and in his writing he says in the book of macbeth he says life is a tale told by an idiot full of sound and fury and signifying nothing when you are in despair and pain when you end up with enemy without god in the absence of god you look at life like that i earned everything i did everything at the end of the day i am miserable and he, and he says life is a tale told by an idiot full of sound and fury and signifying nothing so without god you have no meaning on the other hand the lady macbeth who told her husband let's murder the king and then you can become the king i can become the queen then afterwards our life will be so joyful we can do whatever we want we can be happy that lady's mind was affected that i killed an innocent man sin came and attacked her she could not sleep so she used to walk during the night and shakespeare writes from the words of lady macbeth i wash and wash to find still the stain of sin in me i wash and wash to find the stain of blood in me the more i examine myself the more i become truthful before the light of god i come to know myself what is the life for which my god is calling unless the seed dies new life doesn't come holding on to all this we don't enter into the presence on the line who are confessing their sins who are acknowledging their sins who are seeking mercy the people who are knocking at the door of yours until you bless us our life is a waste i may be talented i may be a singer i may be a preacher i may i may know even the scripture waste if i have not known you if i have not offered myself to you if i have not purified myself god doesn't hear the sinners the bible says until i purify myself until i hunger for his presence and wait on his presence nothing happens how satan a fire of hell managed to stand at the right side of the priest if he did not leave that high priest will he leave me will my life be like that will satan be found on my right side will my clothes be found dirty for god you have eaten still you are hungry you have yearned nothing stands with you 
you are working hard sowing but no crop is coming have you considered why these things are happening to you go up use your energy use all that you have cut the trees build the temple for god enter into his presence let your heart become his temple enter into the inner chamber cry to him lord you have said in the book of joel chapter 2 verse 15 go to the altar along with your priests wail have mercy on us lord have mercy and then verse 28 afterwards after doing this i will pour out my spirit and all the flesh afterwards i will pour out my spirit on all the flesh what after doing this he will pour out the spirit after doing this what is that go to the altar humble yourself acknowledge your sin and call upon him have mercy on us lord have mercy on us and fill your minds with the vision he gives to you why did he choose you leaving so many he doesn't find anybody he trusts you and me don't disappoint him so whatever i do wherever i go i am conscious of the status of my soul i gain so much but i have lost my soul what is the use of winning the whole world if i have lost my soul when i stand before god what will i give to god in the place of my soul lord i need you lord if you don't anoint me as moses said if you have not filled me don't send me from here let that be our cry bless all of us lord and transform us and make us like you that we will never disappoint you lord you have trusted us and called us may our life manifest your power your spirit may our life be a constant life of prayer and power amen my dear friends sangamam plus tv is god's gift for you for our times like comment share and subscribe god will do wonders in your life praise the lord